All right, guys, new day. Dad's still in Hawaii, so I'm still doing his jobs. Um, of course, he picks the uh, best, busiest time to take off, but I'm happy he's actually taking some time off and enjoying traveling. Well, I can say he's enjoying it. I don't know if he is. You know, he seems to complain about being away from the farm, but anyways, I get to uh, go blow out a bunch of neighbors that he always does, landlords, neighbors, uh, his place, um, before he gets home too, and finds out that I'm neglecting all of his jobs, plus trying to haul grain and keep that under control down there for the guys. But it ain't a bad thing that I learn how to do. Not that I don't know how to do it, but also good to get a refresher course and learn and struggle. And best way of learning is struggling, unfortunately. So get this thing out, let it cool down, also warm up, go restart the green bins so that they're good while I'm gone for an hour or more. You know how an hour turns into two. Gotta interrupt the video. We have an announcement. We're going to Louisville, Kentucky again. Should be a good time. National Farm Machinery Show. Yes, yes. It's gonna be the 16th and the 17th. We're gonna be there on 16th, 10 to noon. So that's Thursday. For a meet and greet. Okay. Yep. And then Friday, we are gonna be there one to three. What booth are we in? Unver first booth. 7,001 and 7,200. Same booth connected. It's yeah. just one big booth. Yeah. But that's the numbers on their map. So Sounds come good. see Brody. Kidding? Yeah, come see Brody. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric. We're, no, we're just crowd control. It's, it's for Brody. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sure. <laughs> uh, and there, there is also going to be, I believe, a dual branded shirt that, that can be purchased and signed. We'll see you guys there. And thanks for watching this video. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe and thumbs up. <laughs> so when Brody was getting here today, we have seen him pull his pickup into the shop. So I pulled mine in. Let's see if he's gonna wash mine for me. You washing buckets? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got her clean. You forgot mine. Don't forget mine. I didn't clean it. It looks nice. You got a spot for your rinser. <laughs> All the salt and everything that's on them. Just like trucks and everything, we try to keep them clean as much as possible, which has been getting neglected because it's either snowing or raining every other day and it's like you wash it and you drive two miles and it's like you didn't even do it. But I don't like it sitting on there, nor does he. Well, we've made it here. I blew out uh, one of the yards that we tend to on the way here. I see my brother didn't shovel, that's great. Oh, stone, come on. I uh, actually can't believe his little Jeep is making it through this. Funny he wasn't calling sooner. Belly pan's been scraping. Uh, he he would have called when he was stuck, I'm sure of that. about now. I'm sure you don't hit the shed. I don't think he'd be too happy about that. The snowplow truck is stuck and needs a tug and I can't get a hold of Brody so I was wondering if he could meet me with a rope over there. Okay, you're gonna try it with the tractor you're in. He just needs to bring your rope. Yeah, I don't know. Something about the plow went over the drift and it's hung him up. He said it ain't too bad. Okay. Uh, big rope then? I imagine big rope and a couple of clevises. I have no idea what you tie to on a on a snowplow truck, but... Alrighty, rescue mission! Anyways, sounds like he just got hung up, so we're gonna give him a little tug. Brody's gonna meet me there with the Yankum rope, and then, uh, then I think I'm done blowing. I finished at Dad's. I'm like, I ain't quitting here and driving all the way back over here, so I finished that up, and... 
So we'll see what we uh, get into when I get there. I'm guessing that there's nowhere to turn around down there. So I'm just going to back myself down here. Maybe I should blow myself down here. Looks like she really filled in yesterday. All right, see Brody washed my pickup and is now using it. Let's not put a dent in her. That would be disappointing. Are you ready? Hold I'm ready camera, Brody. This is rough. Another one. <laughs> this is what the ropes are for. It's never as easy as you think it's going to be. I asked how big a tractor. He said, oh, I just need a little tug. I think it's more than a little tug. Better. Turn away from the shoulder. I wonder if you can drive forward or not. Well, that took a lot more than I thought it was going to. We're gonna hope, because he's angling towards the ditch, we're gonna unhook and hopefully he can drive ahead and then uh, not be stuck anymore. Look at how deep this drift is that he was trying to get through. No wonder he ended up stuck. Take a look at how high this snowbank is. Holy cow, it's as tall as the fender. So his hind end slid in the ditch, so we're gonna pull him forward now, and this big drift here should push him back up on the road now that I got blown forward. Hey Brody, hi, hi. Oh, he wants me to back up, that's what he wants. Well, we got him out. I'm going to uh, blow this drift out some, as much as we can anyways. Brody's going back to the farm. Keep it on the road, Brody. I can hear him revving it out. He's abusing it. Alrighty. Well, that was no harm, no foul, but at least nothing got wrecked. And uh, we'll get back to it. Back home safe and sound. Oh, let's see what else we get into. Well, just got done eating. We got a truck showing up here. We got a delivery. Brody's going to get the skid loader because he says the little forklift will get stuck on the ice. Which he's not wrong. Oh, look at how dirty that thing is. Oh. That's what our trucks look like too. Oh, the jet skis. Oh, the jet skis are in the way. Just put it there, I suppose. So guys, this is another shipment we got from Egg Chem Solutions for um, 2023 season heat control. So if you guys have any interest in ordering through Egg Chem Solutions, um, we vouch for them, it's been very good. We also have a discount for them. Uh, if you're a new customer, go check it out, link in the description. Grandpa's watching out of the house windows. He'll be calling me shortly. What did you guys just get? Every time we had a quad track leave here the other uh, day to get that bogey wheel fixed and some exhaust manifold stuff done. Then he calls me, where'd the tractor go? It's getting fixed, Grandpa. Well, what's wrong with it? Told him. He's like, well, why don't you just trade it? I'm like, well, you can, to boot to $500,000. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be that bad. Hate to break it to you, it probably would be that bad. But that is something interesting to talk about with, I'm sure a lot of you guys as farmers are wondering the same thing, like what, what are we gonna do with this equipment? Like this, they're all, all of our quads have, I think the lowest hour one's 3,500 hours, and this one's got 5,300, and the other one's like 5,800 hours. And that's kind of the five to 6,000 hour range is kind of where we've always liked to trade, but now it's like, well, they cost so much, like you can dump a lot of money into these things for what the payment would be, uh, like a substantially less repair bill than what one payment would be. So I don't know, it's uh, crazy. I thought prices were bad two years ago and now it's just insane. So we're gonna just keep on running you, so you, you be good, be good. Now obviously I'm not saying that we're never gonna update tractors forever. I mean, the day will come that we will update. Um, but 
for the time being, these are gonna keep working for us. So we've probably moved uh, 10 to, well, maybe closer to 20,000 bushels since I've been up the bends. I need to go back up there just to verify there ain't no bad issues, stuff stuck on walls, chunks, miscellaneous. Just want to check on grain quality. So, more climbing. So I have my sneaking suspicions there's something concerningly bad happening inside this van. Because it's coming and going, I have to open close the gate. Almost like there's some trunks or something that are getting stuck in that. I better get up there before we have bigger issues, make sure there ain't no big chunks coming down. Still icy if you're wondering. Oh, you guys went, went limp on me here. Who needs to work out? Just do this a couple times a day. My legs might get to be the size of the big Swede in about four years of it. Whew. Oh my gosh. I wonder how Hawaii is. I bet it's just gorgeous. That is no bueno. Don't want that, that's bad. That's uh, FM, that's bridging up. So, and it looks like it's been really hot in the middle there. So what's our options? I don't want trunks coming down, so we start side drying. That, that little chute right over there is where the corn goes down and then you can unload it into a semi. So, before we have an issue, I suppose we just start side drying and they're less prone to plug and if they do, if that ain't plugged, hopefully you, you can get it out of here. Yeah, some, this ain't really rotten, it's just mostly corn cobs and it's frozen on the wall. Once the bend wall gets warm, though, it'll all fall off. All right, well, that answers that. Start side drawing. Oh, that corn in my boot really feels good. Really feels good. You ain't scared of heights, are you? You kind of get used to it, kind of. Only eight of them this time, how lucky.